with the Radium Springs Neighborhood Association, and we are one of the groups that are actively supporting the uh, movement against any any uh, pipelines or combustion stations in Doherty County. Well, the Radium Springs Neighborhood Association has worked very hard with the county and with, with private industry to develop the land that used to be the casino and other park land that used to be the golf course. So we're very into the environment and what is good for the wetlands and um, for our community. This project it has problems written all over it. They are planning to, to go under the Flint River. Uh, they are going to build a compression station which is uh, loud and there's a history behind it in other areas that tells us this is not a good thing for our safety, for our health, for our, our property values even. So that's why we are so much against the Sable Trail project. There's no benefit to anyone in Georgia. The only benefits are the stakeholders in a private company selling oil. This is exciting to have these people bike all the way down from Athens to help us. They understand the importance of not allowing this entity you know, exist in our region. They, um, they are very supportive of us and they're showing that support to our citizens here, helping them uh, learn how to protest, how to write letters uh, in support of us and, and um, against this willy-nilly putting pipes and compressor stations all across our country anywhere anywhere a gas company wants to go. Well, um, the Georgia Climate Change Coalition was founded back in 2010. Um, we've been focusing a lot on trying to encourage solar infrastructure and also just raise awareness and educate people about environmental issues in the state. So uh, about a month and a half ago, I was reading in the Athens Banner Herald a story by Ray Henry about the Sable Trail pipeline that is proposed to go through the southwest part of our state. And the compressor station is, um, it, the company desires to put it here in Albany. Um, and we just said, well, geez, you know, we're doing all this work to try to encourage uh, renewable infrastructure, and yet there's, you know, a great deal of money being poured into, you know, building infrastructure projects that are completely contrary to the best interest of the citizens of the state and you know, the planet as a whole. So we have to take some of this positive constructive energy that we're we're putting into some of our campaigns and uh, lend a hand to fight, or, or lend a hand to the opposition that is um, building here in Albany. And so we called up Glory Gaines and John Hayes and said, well, how can we help you? And they said, well, we realize that many people across the state don't know anything about this project, and, they, and that we're fortunate in that they're just beginning the permitting process. So if we begin a letter writing campaign now, it very well could um, lead to a change in the company's plans without resorting to the same kinds of uh, measures that people in New England are taking against this very same company that's executing a pipeline expansion across the entire eastern seaboard. Um, people in New York and Rhode Island and Vermont and Pennsylvania have um, didn't really get the jump on it when the permitting processes were happening and so now they find their pipelines or these, these pipelines being run through their communities, they're chaining themselves to construction fences, they're locking themselves to the office doors of their elected officials, they're getting arrested, um, and we just don't need to do that here in Georgia. We don't need people up in arms because the state's trying to declare eminent domain to take their private property and give it to a private company. We don't need any of that violence. We don't need people having to take these kinds of drastic measures. So our mandate as a organization is to educate, to advocate, and take action. So we're trying to do all three of those things uh, with this bicycle tour. So um, that's why we're here.